In a world where every Prius is a target. Thieves salivating over the precious metals hidden below the hybrid synergy drive. What man has the power to stop them? What's up everybody? My name is Elliot and welcome back to the only Midwestern based automotive YouTube channel hosted by a notary public. Now that's a verifiable fact. You can check it. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about something that is quite scary. Of course, I'm talking about cat burglars. Oh, hello, Hoovy. Thank you for that announcement in the beginning of this video. That was very kind. There's going to be a lot of cat puns today, aren't there? There are, but as terrifying as the concept of feline theft may be, I'm actually talking about catalytic converters on cars and why the Prius specifically is a major, major target of these thieves especially lately. So you have no desire to paint this thing orange, put the pull my man thing down the side, the big wing for the miles right on the back, and then nitrous, nitrous. I do have a desire for that, but I saw how it turned out for you. So I think I'm gonna leave this bad boy pretty stock. Okay. So the issue at hand today is catalytic converter thieves. Times are tough and thieves like easy money. So there's been a huge rash of catalytic converter thefts as of recent. Now, the reason people wanna steal catalytic converters is because they're jam packed with precious metals such as palladium, platinum, and rhodinium, just to name a few. Now, thieves can easily cut catalytic converters off from the bottom of cars, take it to the scrap metal yard and sell it for no questions asked about 50 to $100, which is pretty easy money for a thief. But the problem is Priuses are actually even more susceptible to that than a standard car. Why? So, wh why? Uh, well, there's a few reasons. One, the Prius has a very high density of those precious metals, making it slightly more valuable to sell its catalytic converter. Secondly, because these things are so light and stiff, you can actually just jack them up from anywhere on the side and not have to worry about really the safety of the car. It'll pretty much do it. And third, these things are so freaking common. When was the last time you went out on a drive and didn't see a Prius? Yesterday. You, uh, really, you didn't see uh, one okay, yesterday? Yeah, okay. okay, yes, they're very common, <laughs> yes. So what should we do? Well, don't worry, there's a solution. The folks over at Cat Defender have just the thing that we need to protect this car. Let me go get it. This bad boy is the cat defender. Wow. Oh yeah, let me, let me Mike Wazowski myself. Oh. Whoa. It works, yes. <laughs> oh, wow. It defended you. <laughs> it did. All right. So this essentially goes underneath the car and makes it more difficult for a thief to steal the catalytic converter in the first place. Thieves are lazy people, and once they see something in their way, they're pretty much likely to go onto another car. But if they decide to try to cut through this anyway, it's made through a very thick aluminum that makes a lot of noise and would be a lot harder to cut through than just the exposed catalytic converter. So you electrify it so it shocks them when they touch it? I suppose you could. Razor blades? You just hook the hybrid battery system up to this. Yes. And boom. The 2.0 Cat Defender, that, they, my idea. Yeah. you owe me money. So anyway, today I am going to be installing this on this Prius and hopefully I will be safe from cat thieves. Well, have fun with that. I'm gonna have some lunch. All right, All right. well, thanks Hoovy. All right, so I'm gonna switch over to handheld mode and we'll get this installed. All right, guys, I've switched to handheld mode and I've changed shirts because maybe it's a different day, but probably because I don't wanna get oil on the shirt that I had on earlier. Because if you remember last time I did an oil change in here, geez, a little warm, a little spatter, I got it all over me. Right now, you can see the Prius is in the studio area, which means we need to get it over to the lift area. But the problem is there is a car in the lift area. And as you can see, it is a 1954 Corvette, which means this is the first time in history that a 1954 Corvette has had to give up its position on a lift for a Prius. Yes, that is correct. This is a real 1954 Corvette. You might've seen it in the background of some other videos, but this is a rare, rare car. GM only made about 3,500 of these this year. This is technically the first full production year of the Corvette. It's got a six cylinder, straight six with triple side draft carburetors and an automatic transmission. This is an all original car, a very rare, rare all original car. And right now we can't actually start it because my dad is doing a restoration on the radio and wiring, as you can see over here. He is totally fixing up the Wonder Bar radio, and this is a fascinating piece of equipment to watch operate. It's very, very cool. But unfortunately, it means we can't start the car to back it off. So we need to push that off and get the Prius on the lift in order to install the Cat Defender and do an oil change. Now, like I said, this is the first time in history that a car this rare from the 50s has had to give up its position on the lift for a car that is this common from the early 2000s. So it just has to be documented. That is what Automotive YouTube is all about. And that is something you can only find right here on this channel. So if you haven't subscribed already, man, 
this is what you're missing out on. Speaking of subscriptions, I've also started an Instagram account. The username is alvis.elliot. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'm very, very new to the platform, but if you guys want to give me a follow there, it's a great place to see some behind the scenes action and just other little tidbits from my life. So please do me a favor, give me a follow there. I'm really trying to get that going. As you can see, the Car Trek Maserati is still safe and sound. I know you guys are itching for more Car Trek Maserati content and it's coming. I still have the oil pressure sender to put in, the clutch to put in, and the headliner and other few miscellaneous tidbits. More Maserati content is on the way, fear not. Let me get this 54 Corvette off the lift, the Prius on the lift, and then we can get going. Right, so the Prius has been elevated as you can see and while it's up there I'm actually going to change the oil. The installation of the Cat Defender doesn't actually block any of the oil change points but it's actually already time for it to be done and the Prius is up in the air so when in Rome change the oil. Anyway while we're doing that it only takes 3.9 quarts as opposed to the Maserati's like 10 quarts of oil so just one jug will do it and I actually got a K&N oil filter now why did I get the K&N filter because I want to squeeze the most performance out of this Prius and as you can see the box is actually like sun faded and gross because they had it in inventory for so long because this was $18 compared to the normal filter for the Prius which is like eight so K&N you know, throw me a bone here. I'm really trying to use your product. But anyway, let's get this oil changed. Let me wheel the bucket over and I'll speed up this process because I think you all know how an oil change works. The Maserati oil filter is still in here. So fancy. It's so fancy, I almost don't want to get rid of it. What other oil filter says Maserati on it? Only the ones that go in Maseratis, I guess. Anyway, let's change the oil on this Prius. All right, we got the oil change on the Prius and it's back up in the air now. As you can see from this view, this is what thieves are after. This is the catalytic converter that they're most often stealing on these cars, probably because, well, look at it, it's so easy to access. And if you had a saw like this one, you can see how easy it is to get to either side of that catalytic converter to remove it quickly and easily. And that's a problem, but it's a problem that the Cat Defender aims to solve. So let me go grab the Cat Defender and let's pop it on here and I'll show you how easy it is to install and what this whole thing looks like after the cat defender is installed. All right, we've got our cat defender here. Let me show you where it fits on here. It's on here like so. And with the cat defender in place, you can see that catalytic converter is no longer accessible. So for just a little over $100, you can save yourself something like $2,000 in OEM catalytic converter replacement costs. It's a pretty small price to pay for something that could mechanically total out a Prius as cheap as this one. So let me install this thing and you can see how quick and easy it is to save yourself a ton of money, especially if you live in a high crime area. Let me Right, guys we got the cat defender fully installed and as you could see it was a fairly straightforward process there's some factory mounting studs right here other than that there were some holes that needed to be drilled for some rivets and some security screws but it was a pretty straightforward process could this be done in a driveway probably but it sure was a lot easier with the lift and cat defender themselves recommends professional installation so if you have any doubts definitely go that route but let's take a look at the end product here it's very well fitted, it's very solid, and most importantly, the catalytic converter right here is protected. There is no way anybody's getting anything in there. And you can see it's, it's well ventilated, so heat is not going to be an issue. Another added side benefit of this thing is it is smooth as a baby's bottom under here now, so I'll probably see an increase in gas mileage, which is pretty neat. 
But yeah, this is a great product. I'm definitely glad I put it on there. And I probably saved myself potentially $2,000, which is always a great thing. The car is all lowered down now so I can drive it home with the peace of mind that I have the cat defender installed. If I were to leave this outside, I would be totally safe from the potentially expensive catastrophe of catalytic converter thieves. I know everyone's groaning at home for that one. But on that note, I think I'm going to end it here. But wait, oh, hang on. Actually, we have one more test to do. One second. Do you feel safer? There is a cat defender installed on this vehicle. Would you say that you feel safer? I'll take this as a cat yes. So cat defender, cat approved. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram, which is new. I'm still figuring that one out. But other than that, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the other normal YouTube stuff, and I will see you on the next video. Some cat thieves. People probably want a Maserati video. They do. And don't worry, the Maserati's right there. But this, this is a pertinent issue because okay. pic picture this, if you will. The holidays are coming up. Yes. You're a single mom in the Chicago inner, inner city area. Picture it. Begin the process of resetting the oil light on this thing. Press the power button twice with your foot off the brake. Okay, use the odometer button. Press the power button once. Hold the odometer button and press the power button twice with your foot off the brake. Okay, I should have HBO on this thing now, right? So you go out to your car one morning, you start it up. All of a sudden it's loud. It sounds like a teenager just straight piped their Honda. Yes. And welcome back to the only Midwestern base you... Ah, piss. I'm trying... It, it's such a mouthful. They're easy to jack up and you don't need a real jack to actually get underneath them. And three, no. <laughs> and three, <laughs> Jesus. And three, God damn, I'll just start all over again. So the Prius has three major things going against it for these catalytic converters. <laughs> just make it look like, Just be like, be like, well, what's a guy to do? What's like, a guy to do? <laughs> okay, you got it. All right, do the third It's so cheesy. All right.